I was saying uh, sometimes I just like listening to the Bible uh, instead of reading it to refresh my memory, anything, or or I hear something that I missed or something or refresh. But um, but I, um, as I was listening to uh, Genesis earlier, uh, what came to my mind was the law, and you know, um, like Brother Ryan be saying, you know, like that gap point. A lot of people, you know, uh, they kept the law back in the day. They gonna keep the law in the future, but right now we ain't gotta keep the law. So uh, that don't that don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so we gonna go because everybody, everybody accustomed to the Book of Exodus, where the law is given, and you know they forget about you know Genesis. You know they was keeping laws back in Genesis before the official, you know, you know quote unquote everybody uh, knew the law quote unquote. So just touch on that and um and probably a little bit of the New Testament, but mainly just stay in the Book of Genesis and uh, go from there. Uh, I'm gonna start in uh, Genesis two. Adam. Uh, maybe um, this is chapter three. Chapter three. The next one over. All right. So, so we talking about the law and um, how it's always been here. You know, because a lot of people, you know, um, if you want to, you can go to Acts chapter two, verse seventeen. I mean, I ask, I mean, Genesis chapter 2, 17, excuse me. 2, 17. Chap Genesis 2, 17. But, uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's what I was looking for. I marked it down right there in chapter 2. All right, Um. so a lot of people, you know, are already, many people are skittish of the of the law. You know, they get, you know, nobody like the police like Brother uh, Ron always say, you know, he still don't like the police and go to your bishop now. So, you know, <laughs> you know you, tickets, nobody want to get pulled over for tickets or nothing like that, you know, and people just don't, don't, you know, don't like the law or whatever. So, but it's just, you know, reinforcing that laws are good and, and you know, we have laws to keep us, us safe, you know, just like if um, somebody hit one of your loved ones in a 45 and they was going 70, you would have went to the law. Like, you know, they was doing 40, they was going 70 in the 45, now you preaching the law, you know what I'm saying, when something happened to you, so, but, so this is a Reminded that you know the law is good and, and it was here from the beginning. Okay, um, verse 17, Genesis 2, verse 17, um, 16. And Yah commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. So that is a parameter. He's putting guidelines. Okay, you can go here, you can go there, but you can't go there. Just like when you're younger and your parents say, Okay, you can go down the street, but don't go past that light. They're setting up a parameter. Your parents are making the laws for you right there, you know what I'm saying? But of the tree of of but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For the day that thou sh that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And you know, one thing I like about Yah, you know, I plan on doing a lesson like that in the future, about um, you know, uh, Yah is not a not a um do what I say, cause I said do it. Y'all is a sin, right here. Like so many people, like a lot of children, they they a lot of parents damage their children because they don't initially tell the children why. You know, you're, you're dealing with a child and they want to know why. After you t explain it to them next time, like hey, you remember what I told you? Then you can be like, you already know. You know what I'm saying? What, uh, why you're not supposed to be doing it? And just like in you know, verse 17, Y'all is making it clear. Hey man, Adam, you eat this, you're gonna die. So don't eat it, cause you're gonna die. You know, it's just like hey, Adam, don't eat it. And Adam, like man. What's the big deal? You know what I'm saying? I might get superpowers if I eat it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's making it clear. You're going to die. Okay. Um, okay. And go to Genesis 17. Or oh, we can just go in order. Go to 9. And we're going to deal with um, what um, Ham did to, to his father indirectly. And we spoke about that. Uh, I don't think I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, yeah. Uh, where he, where what actually happened? He he was messing with his wife. 
uh, yeah, I heard so so many things. That's one another one of the studies okay. I was doing. I heard so many things. That's one of the things that the curse. Yeah, Everybody yeah. want to know what it was and what, yeah. what, what was so bad. What what, what really happened? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I read a couple of things. Maybe you can okay elaborate well, and maybe. You well, I just flat out tell you, because brother Ishmael, uh, he did a little mini lesson on it uh, yeah. a few uh, months ago. Yeah, that's my eyes over, <laughs> man. I was like, what? So get one on it, I got something. So what actually happened uh, was that uh, the nakedness was. Ne- um, Noah's nakedness, metaphorically speaking, was his wife. You went to my, you saw my nakedness, you saw my treasure. You know what I'm saying? It's like you and your wife is your treasure. Somebody see your wife naked, or you know they went into your wife. You know they playing with your treasure, mm-hmm. and that's what actually happened with um with his son. Uh, that's why he was so hot. It, it was either that or some homosexual stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, like either which way is bad. I heard that myth too. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Homosexual. I heard it's like there's so many. Things that people yeah, 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 are saying what happened. I don't believe that. Yeah. But but if you don't know the history, if you don't know the detail studying of that, you know, because that's only reading. Like, why you seen your uh, father nakedness? That must have been some other stuff because yeah. there's no other information, you know. But but um uh, but um I, just like brother Ishmael brought out, you know, it's it's, it's more so towards he, he went into his um his mother. All right, next chapter nine. Um, okay, that's twenty chapter twenty on down. Genesis 19, verse 20 on down. Genesis no, Genesis 9, verse, verse 20, 20 okay. on down. Okay. And this is about the law because he did something here that there's no law about there prior. You don't read, hey, man, leave, leave, your, leave, your, uh, leave somebody wife alone. So there was laws here that we just, you know, just don't know about. And Noah began to be an, a husband man, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine and was drunken and well you know you know you're spending all the time on this ship he's like man you know i need to drink you know what i'm saying like flat, first thing he did he flattered the vineyard you know what i'm saying so you know noah probably has some gray hairs on that ship you know what i'm saying you know mm-hmm. you know you got to take care of everything you know what i'm saying right, okay right, right you know the joke you know mm-hmm. and, and, he, and he drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered within his tent and ham the father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers. So again, you know, he was messing with uh, his mother. That's that's double. You messing with his your father's wife and your mother. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty messed up. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. You know, just like, you know, like somebody like you slapped, like your fathers was alive. And, you know, y'all, one of y'all just go up there and slap your mother like, man, what y'all doing, man? You hitting my, you hitting my wife. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's taking it personal, you know, or anybody else who's who doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you, that's, that, that's your father's. His. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto unto his brethren. See right here what we got right here. We got a law that was established, and then we got judgment. Because Yah is not unjust, so he's going to give you the law first. It's like he gave it to Adam, and then judgment. Hey, you're going to die, Adam. And then right here, you know, he, he's cursed with um, servitude. Yah shall enlarge Shaphat, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah uh, lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. And you know, no, you know that relationship was always, you know, it's, I don't know how you come back from that one, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got beef, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't come to the family reunion, you know what I'm saying? Like, you raping your mother. Uh, how did... <laughs> You can't come to the family reunion. And actually, somebody like that, you got to put them out of the camp. You know, when, when you, they do certain things, you know, just like in the book of Exodus, certain things you got to put outside the camp. All right, so now we're going to go to um, the eating of blood um, in chapter 9. Um, that's going to be chapter 9. And just start at 1, go to around 5. At chapter 9. Oh, yeah, the same same one in Genesis. Yeah, all this is gonna be in Genesis. I might okay. go, to, I might go to a, a okay. little bit of New Testament. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, because I was just listening to Genesis earlier just to you know refresh you know my mind, and then the laws just kept popping up. Uh, and bless, 
and bless, and Yah blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. What is he saying right there? He's setting up laws and parameters. Hey man, at this point in time, I don't know if pork is on the table, but it's not like pork is on the table. So, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not saying it is or is it not. But uh, he, he's setting parameters on them for eating. Um, but but here comes another rule. But fle but flesh with the life there thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of, of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life, the life of man. Um, Whoso subdueth man's blood, murder, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Yah man, made he man and you. Be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. So we got dietary laws and we got laws of engagement. Hey Amen. Then we're going around killing people because I'm going to require your blood. And what is these? These are laws. And, you know, how can the law be done away with when we started with the law? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, everything. We ain't cutting off chickens' heads or nothing like that right now. I ain't talking about that, but I'm talking about other certain laws are still inactive. And, um... And it's good to see that this is prior to Exodus, uh, um, Moses and everything. It, it was from the beginning because laws are good. And without laws, we, you know, they would have been drinking blood, you know, like been, 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 been you know, roaring like lions or something. You know, mm -hmm. this is because the blood that affects you, you're taking on the spirits of these animals and stuff. That's what the Native Americans used to do. They used to drink the animals' flesh and all that stuff, and the blood, and, you know, they, they would start howling, you know. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot of spiritual stuff here. Uh, because in in, um, in verse five it says, and surely your uh, uh, verse four, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. That's deep. But flesh with the life thereof. So the the blood is the life. So that's why a lot of demonic people, you know, they, they like to sacrifice people to drink their blood because they taking on that life, you know. So, but um, and we can go to chapter seventeen. This is um, the law of circumcision. So this is prior to Moses. Just like uh, Brother Ron be bringing out a uh, uh, Moses' wife called uh, him a bloody man because he wouldn't sacrifice or he uh, failed to sacrifice uh, his child. And Yah was coming to kill Moses. You know what I'm saying? And I believe he was coming to kill the child too. But um, but this is this is the law of sac uh, law of circumcision way before Moses. Um, Seventeen. This was a covenant, too. Yeah, it's a covenant. Agreement. And when, and if you didn't keep it, you had consequences, judgment. So, and when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Yah appeared to Abram and said unto him, "I am the Almighty Yah. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant with." I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram, Abram fell on his face, and Yah talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with me, with, with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee and I will establish my covenant between thee me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a Yah unto thee and to thy seed after thee and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession and I will be there Yah, and Yah said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant. Therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations, this is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me 
and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of the foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations. He that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. And we're starting to see, you know, the technicalities of this matter. You know, is this not, uh, you got to do it at a specific time on the eighth day. You can't do it right when the child is born. You can't do it when the child is, you're not supposed to. Um, on the 18th birthday, it's particular, it's particular guidelines for, for um, how Yah is doing these, these things. Um, he that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must must needs be circumcised. So, you know, you bought, again, you know, they had servants, you know, so if you bought a servant, you know, uh, Jonathan, who happened to be 35, when he came into the house, hey, Jonathan, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got rules to follow, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I remember when guys off the Navy, they never been circumcised, man. Mm -hmm. They had to be cut. I used to watch them. Oh, wow. I'm sure they're yeah. going to do that no more. They still do it. Well, not by voluntary, I mean. Yeah, they volunteer, yeah, 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 for cleanest purpose, but you should see the faces. You should see them afterwards. That's fine. I'd rather do that when I'm eight days old. Then, see, you know that's, what that's what God, y'all told us to do it. Because a lot of the stuff, you know, a lot of the stuff was so funny, well, not funny, was so good, is that it's been medically proven mm -hmm. why you do it at eight days old, mm -hmm. and then especially and then the blood, mm -hmm. drinking the blood. And it's because it's, it's, it's toxic, it's poison. Mm -hmm. That's what it goes back to saying that mm -hmm. y'all, he knows everything. He knows mm -hmm. what you need. Mm -hmm. And now it's medically why. Mm -hmm. and medical proven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, that's y'all's way was better proving that his ways were better. Now we understand why he said that because yeah. there was no medical stuff back in the day. Well, it was because, you know, y'all, you know, the, the master uh, physician, you know what I'm saying? You know, man, we talking about 6,000 years ago. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they know they know the book is real. You know, they just be, right. they they be playing against. They trying to find flaws with it. Yeah, you know, they just be playing around. Yeah. But, um, but uh, he that is 13, he that is born in thine house, and he that is bought with thy money must needs be <laughs> circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man, so somebody who don't want to follow uh, the rules and regulations, a covenant too, but you know, rules and regulations. If they're, and the uncircumcised man, child, whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. So again, like I was saying a few moments ago, you know, some people, some certain situations, you got to get out of the camp. You can't be here, you know, you're, you're. Because you're disobedient, you're not following the, the rules and regulations and the covenants. Um, we're gonna go to 21. Just touching a little bit more on uh, the circumcision too. Uh, I think it'd be like one to eight. And Yah visited Sarah as he had said, and Yah did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time, at the set time of which Yah had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son. Isaac being eight days old as Yah had commanded him and Abraham was a hundred uh, years old when his son Isaac was born unto him so that's another thing I was you know that's why I like uh, listening to this stuff but you know listening to this a lot of the childbirths was later on in life they wasn't like not nowadays you know 16 20 you know, a lot of times you know 30 40 50 Abraham 99, you know, you know, 100 when it was officially 99 when conceived and 100 when he was born. So, you know, I was thinking about that too, you know, give your time to mature because a lot of people had not mature when they have children. And, you know, when you're 20, 25 or whatnot, you know, especially in this society, you know, mainly people need to be about 80 to have children in this society because, you know, right around 80 when they start getting their life together, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah. But uh, that, that was just a sac that was just a uh, matter on a uh, circumcision in uh, eighteen chapter eighteen. This is talking about uh, justice and judgments. 
and again all this stuff is good you know the laws are good and just and uh, again you know I just thought this would be good because this is prior to Exodus you know um, there's a lot of people who would go to the law they would go to the they would go that's the law of Moses we ain't under no Moses are you out of your mind heathen heretic where my pig fat uh, but uh <laughs> But yeah, I like to exaggerate it a little bit. But I'll just read this a little bit because uh, these are good stuff. Um, verse 18, chapter 18, I mean. And Yah appeared unto him in the plains of uh, Mem- Memram, Memory, uh, not Mem- Ma- Ma- Re- Ma- Re- Ma- Re- yeah. Uh, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day, and he left up his eyes and looked, and lo, Three men stood by him, and when he, mm, that's too far. I think I was talking about Sodom here. Yeah, Which one sixteen, verse sixteen, because this goes back to you know. Yeah, uh, go ahead. You right, right there, sixteen, where y'all told I would. I know Aaron would teach his teaching mm-hmm. my kids on law and statute. Mm-hmm. I put this in one of my my lessons. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my um. Mm-hmm. So I was writing my papers, I mm-hmm. put this one of my papers. Yeah, some good stuff. So you know, even with homosexuality, this is prior to the book of Exodus. So, so homosexuality and all this stuff has always been wrong from the start. This wasn't just like that's the law of Moses. You know, homosexuals are okay. You know, the law's done away with. But what about prior to Moses? It was even not okay. You know, it's never been okay to you know sodomize a man. You know what I'm saying? Never been okay. And the man, uh, verse 16, And the man rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom. And Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. And Yah said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do, seeing that Abraham surely shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Here's a key point about this. You know, Yah keep, Yah keep things from you, you know what I'm saying, until the time is... um. Tell it's necessary for you to know, you know. He was like, Man, should I tell Abraham what's gonna happen to him? You know, you hear this new, you be like, Oh man, for real, for real. And that's what happened, you know, saying that's why Sarah was so uh, uh taken back. Cause it didn't happen until years and years and years later. And then when it finally came, she was like, I ain't about to get pregnant. I'm about to die soon, you know what I'm saying? But but uh you never know when y'all gonna open it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it on anymore. That's right, that's right. No, my womb gonna be filled, you know. Like I've surely passed the age of conception, but uh but you know. But until y'all ready to uh, give it to you, you know, you, you can be <laughs> no, uh, old in age, you know. I said no Viagra back then. Nah, nah. Uh, it was it was um it was his tree root. Uh, mandarin, it's mandarin, mandarin. They used to uh, uh, chop it up or whatever, you know. They call it mandrake. Yeah, mandrake. Yeah, that was it. Brother Ron know about it. Yeah, mandrake. I'm not saying that you know about it. I'm just saying you know about it. I like because Leah and they were fighting over it. Yeah, okay. Oh, you you want to lay with uh, J- uh, Jacob? Yeah, Jacob? Yeah, here, girl, take this. Put this in his coffee or whatever. Uh, see, they, boy, they was dirty. Boy, you think about that? You know, that's almost rape in a way. But that's just why. That's 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 their husband. But uh, he's trying to pour it up, man. He can get it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> man, Drake going on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 19 for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him and what did he use to command his household the laws That's right. and they shall keep the way of Yah the laws to do justice and judgment Again, people get caught up with with the with saying the law. Oh, that's the law of Moses. No, this ain't the law of Moses. Moses was right there to get the law to uh, uh, to, to to be that prophet at that time to do Yah's will. That wasn't his. Moses wasn't like Yah. I think this is a good law right here. Thou shalt not kill. Keep the Sabbath day. Yah was telling Moses write write my words down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my point is, this is even before Moses. Um, and they shall keep the way of Yah to do justice and judgment, that Yah may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. And Yah said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because there's sin, how can we have sin without without laws? Sodom and Gomorrah, they cool. The law ain't here. The Moses' law ain't here yet. So how is Sodom and Gomorrah sinning? Because the law been here. It was an abomination. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't surpass sin, mm-hmm, man. Mm-hmm. They were doing more corrupt things. Went up to heavens. Yeah. Um, they cried up to heavens. Mm-hmm. 
uh, is great, and because their sin is very grievous, and I will go down now. Now, you know, this is y'all saying, you know, I didn't have enough. You done got me off my seat. You know, with sin, you know what I'm saying? And see whether, see that right there? See whether they have done all together according to the cry of it. So y'all, just like uh, the scriptures say, uh, y'all, y'all uh, eyes are as bright as 10,000 suns or I think something like that. But uh, he, the angels are watching for y'all. Every time they report, they on their tablets like... Yeah, you ain't gonna believe what he doing, y'all. You ain't gonna believe what she doing, y'all. Y'all like, nah, they ain't really doing that. This is what y'all said. Let me go and let me see this for myself. The angels like, man, I'm telling you, y'all, they getting down, down there. Um, and I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. Y'all said, let me see this for myself. These lawbreakers. And the man turned their faces from thence and went to toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before Yah, and Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? And it's another thing, you know, the only reason why Satan's kingdom right here is flourishing, like, man, why ain't destroying, why y'all ain't destroying this place is because the wheat and tares are mixed together. They got a separation has to take place for Yah Rav to, you know, be let go because, again, you know, if, if Yah Rav just come down, you know, the wheat and the tares gonna both get burnt together. So it's uh, it's like it's like I don't know why it's like that, you know, but yeah, it's like you know, uh, like a surgeon, you gotta cut certain things out. I'm taking this, I'm taking this, you know. So that, that's just how it is. And Abraham drew near and said, "Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Uh, Preadventure there be fifty righteous within the city. Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be fair far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked and the righteous there was if there were righteous there which we know it was um lot at least uh, they was keeping laws with the wicked and that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of all the earth do right so abraham got some questions for y'all here you know, make sure you're doing right to your judgment, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to kill no unnecessary people here. And that's another thing, you know, like a lot of people don't get, you know. Y'all say, man, come to the throne boldly. Just come respectfully. You know, when you talk to y'all, you know, I, don't, I ain't telling nobody how to talk to y'all. I'm just saying, like, there's ways to talk to y'all. There's ways to talk to y'all. And you, you can be, you know, bold. Like, yeah, you know, like Abraham is, is right bold. here. is But respectfully, with all due Moses respect. Moses did the same yeah, thing. Moses, mm -hmm. Moses like, yeah, I was like, man, those are, like, I don't talk to my dad like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, well, he like, well, yeah. he was the the thing I learned that they were their relationship, but y'all uh, they were close. They call mm -hmm. he called Abraham friend, mm -hmm. and he talked to Abraham like a mm -hmm. friend, and he did with mm -hmm. Moses like that too. And what did Christ say? Ye are my friend if you do my father's will. Why was Abraham y'all friend? He was doing it. With, look at Abraham doing my will. It wasn't no magic, you no know, y'all playing quote unquote favorites. Abraham, Moses, uh, Noah, they was just doing one magical thing. Mm -hmm. Doing y'all will, you know, but it, it, it's 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 almost magical because you're in the midst of so many sinners. That's why it's like wow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Instead of you sinning, you doing right, man. You yeah. Be with everybody else, but you choose not. That's, That's right. Magical, bro. That's right. And that's the and and the people doing righteousness. That's the few, the proud. That's right. You know, the Marines. You know, quote unquote. You know. You know, See, obedience. Yeah, the obedience. The obedience so, so this is why you know y'all, and, and that's, that can be for anybody who got a good relationship with y'all. Y'all, y'all ain't telling this is this is just not a behavior that Abraham could do. Anybody who who is doing y'all will can come to y'all, you know, in respect. Just like the woman in um uh, in, in the book of Matthews, I think, or Luke, where she kept coming to the. It was a parable. She kept coming to the judge. And she was like, it was a powerful, but people keep coming to Yah, you know, and it was getting annoying to the judge. And then he's like, okay, what you want? I got you. I got you. Like, you know, each day at 12 o'clock, hey, Yah, I got a problem. The next day, Yah, Yah, the next day, on the Sabbath day, they did a what? I got a problem. Okay, you know, boldly, that, that woman came boldly. worries me. You know, yeah, you worry me, but she could worry y'all. Nice. You, you getting on my nerves. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was a metaphor for the right. It was a metaphor for righteous people going to y'all, but 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 she could do that because she was on good terms. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna be knocking on y'all door. He don't want to hear. You know what I'm saying? You know, he gonna send somebody, move them people out the way, just like he did with uh, Adam and Eve. Put a chair right there. Don't come here no more.
y'all gone. Don't knock on my door, don't do nothing. Um, and 25, that be far from thee to do after this manner, to say, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from thee, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the only time I seen this go wrong was with Job. It's the only time I seen it wrong go wrong with Job. That's when y'all was like, who are you to question me? Did you bind up the Pleiades? Did you, you know, it's the only time I seen that go uh, sideways. <laughs> the only so. time I seen that go sideways because Job was having a little struggle there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, understandably, you know, he was going through some hard times. Uh, and y'all said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, when... Then I will spare all the place for their sakes. If I find 50 law-abiding uh, keepers, and Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I will have taken upon me to speak unto thee, Yah, which I, which am but dust and ashes. See the humility here? You know, it's boldness, but humility. You know, I'm just, this is a side note, because I don't want nobody to get this information be knocking on Yah's door. Look! Answer me now, you know, it was it's mixed with humility. Mm -hmm. I'm but dust. <laughs> Sorry, we none but dust. You know what I'm saying? But it was boldness at the same time, you know. Um Peradventure there shall lack fifty five of the fifty righteous will thou destroy all the city for the lack of five. And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. And he spake unto him yet again, and he said, Peradventure there shall be forty and found there and he shall and he said I will not do it for forty sake and he said unto him oh let not Yah be angry and I will speak peradventure there shall thirty be found there and he said I will not do it if I find thirty there and he said behold now I have taken upon me to speak unto Yah peradventure there shall be twenty found there and he said I will not destroy it for twenty, twenty sake and he said oh let not Y'all be angry, and I will speak yet, but this once, pure venture, ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And Yah went his way as soon as he had left communion with Abram, Abraham, and Abraham returned unto his place. Chapter 19. Chapter 19. Just as it is. Uh, and there came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. You know, again, we should know that Lot was a righteous man as well. And I, that's another lesson I was reading, uh, listening to uh, just in the future. That, you know, uh, when Yah blessed Lot and Abraham, man, they had so much blessings that conflict was about to start. Look, man, we got too much abundance. The door, the doors done busted open. We blessed. We can't be around each other no more because your cows will be my stuff. Your my cows will be up. So we got so much. I'm gonna go my way, and you gonna go your way. I'm just saying that they were just so blessed, so blessed that they just needed more space. You know what I'm saying? We needed more pasture because we have so much. Uh, and he said, "Behold, now my my uh, masters." Turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And you know, man, you know, uh, them angels probably been um, killing all night, too, man. You know, some angels, man, ain't nobody about to come break no angels. You know what I'm saying? If it would've, if they would've just stayed in the street, they would the man would've took hold on, just been some slapping, some <laughs> kicking, you know? Uh, but... Verse 3, and there's a key point in here that I'm, uh, that's coming up, too, I found very interesting. Because I see it even to this day. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the man of the city, evening, even the man of Sodom, compassed the house round about. This is the point. This is the main thing that was just shocking to me a little bit, because I see it even to this day. Both old and young. So we got the old elder homosexuals and we got the new young homosexuals here. You know, and I see this in a lot of times, you know, a lot of them old men, they be um, turning out these young boys. A lot, a lot of time in sports, uh, some, you know, perverted old men in the neighborhood be messing with them young boys, turning them out, you know. So that, that was just uh, a little calling to me, uh, spoken out a little bit more to me. 
uh, about that, both old and young, and the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Five and one. Yeah, and basically, you know, rape them. Um, and Lot went out at that at the door unto them and shut the door after him. And he said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Why is he saying homosexuality is wickedly? You know, the law of Moses speak about it, but this is prior to the law of Moses, you know. So from the beginning, this homosexual, because a lot of times I see this in churches, uh, they go to the book of Moses, to the Exodus and whatnot, to say, you know, well, the law done away with, you know, come as you are. Ain't nothing wrong with the choir director being homosexual. The law done away with, and that's why you know a lot of these churches are full of homosexuality because they don't they they toss out the books of Moses because they're like oh no nah, the book of Moses ain't, that's worthless books but this is prior to Moses there ain't no way of getting out of that now nah. you know what I'm saying from the get go it's been wrong. Uh, behold now I have two daughters which have not known man let me I pray you bring them out unto you and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore come they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. <laughs> Man, yo, they ain't playing, yo. They ain't playing, yo. They, they ain't trying to hear none of that. They trying to, they trying to rape men, yo. And they said again, <laughs> This one fellow came in to sojourn. And he will needs be a judge. Now, see see what happened here? See what happened when the righteous are mingled around the wicked? Mm -hmm. The righteous want to judge. When they see wickedness, they... I can't help it. I'm, I'm notorious for that, man. I've been making expressions, you know, all my life. I see some wickedness, see some lesbians. I'm showing my, you know, just taste for it. That's just the way it is for me. But um, they mocking... Lot here, they like man. Who you are? You knew the you knew the Sodom and Gomorrah. You think you gonna come here and be a judge? You think you gonna bring Yah's laws around us? And we ain't trying to hear that. And he will need be a judge. Now will we deal worse with B? I don't even know. That's some homosexual talk. I don't even want to know what they talking about. There, they talking about worse. Then with them. <laughs> Oh, since you wanted Trump to check us, well, we really gonna do them up. Like, man, you see this? Then he said, after them finish with him, then we're gonna get you. <laughs> like, what? And then we're gonna get your dog. You know, what, you know what I say? Think about it. Your dog. What we read about the Benjamin, man, and judges, how you did on you know, girl, we man. Talk, we talked about, talk about that before you came, man. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about we're in the same spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, these want to call what mine. These yeah, I got yeah, on yeah, them, they know. I didn't get mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't there. Let me get in. Now Now we even. Now we good. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm late, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same Better late than no. There you right. go. That's right. They did her bad when he had to cut her up. That's right. They sent it all through to the coast. That's right. Each part to each, this section of, right. of Utah. Each part of East, you know what I'm saying, of the different tribes. That's right. See what happened to my wife. Oh, come on. That's right, man. That was special delivery, man. What was this here? Flies on it. What is this? Mm. This is sent no, from brother Fabian. I, I, I didn't know that until I had I was doing my yearly reading. And I had to run back to Pastor Baker. I, I did not know that. I never caught that. You know, judges, you always read like Samson and, and Deborah mm -hmm. and, and like, in uh, you know, the judges, all, man, all when they all started saying, boy. But I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. until, and that's like, I told Brother Favis, I was verbatim. Are oh, we going to break down your door? Now, flip back here. We're going to break down your door. Right. We'll do the same thing that you do to them. Show the Genesis. We do the same thing we did. I said, this is almost like verbatim. It's like, it is, man. I, and I was too because it was the Benjamites, man. Yeah. Yeah. There was, was, was a people, a people, man. Yeah. That's very insultful. That, that you, that's, you, that's us, as we know, the the, the Amorites and them were doing it, man. Now we see us doing it. Yeah. That's why I was like, Wow. And that gives Satan is mocking you. You see what them crazy bitches make doing now? That that's that's your first son. Sodom and Gomorrah, they, they, they was already, you know, yeah. saw the, the, a Sodom, uh, mm -hmm. uh, idol worship and all that. Mm -hmm. they, they knew the law, mm -hmm. the Benjamites. They mm -hmm. were from the tribes. They knew mm -hmm. the law. Mm -hmm. so, and they knew about Sodom and Gomorrah. They know that history. Yeah, everybody exactly. know about that because it passed down, passed yes. down, passed down. So you would know, so you won't do that. That's right. That's why the history was passed down, so you won't go That's back right. and do we're that. We're talking about judges. We're not mm -hmm. talking about way back in 
I don't know, Ezekiel or something mm -hmm. like that. We're talking about Judges. Mm -hmm. So that time period, it ain't like they were so, mm -hmm. so distant mm -hmm. like that. Uh, That's how they read Judges too. When the angels came back and says, told them up. Mm -hmm. It was thorn in your flesh. Yeah, man, you know, that, that homosexual spirit ain't no joke. Um, so, but that, that's what we were talking about in that lesson of the, the other week about uh, incubus. You know, when they when they when they went to Egypt, y'all was like, man, don't bring that which y'all got from Egypt out. And, you know, obviously, you know, yeah. from way <laughs> still came because they were doing homosexuality in uh, Egypt. You know, I can, I can tell you it was. But you know, you thought it like they wasn't, but they was, mm -hmm. man. You know, so mm -hmm. in Dorthans, they was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they got they got on the, uh, some of the um, archaeology. They got um, homosexual uh, yeah. images in ancient, you know, the uh, ancient uh, you know, Kemet yeah, people. Yeah, just, you know, it's like there's no way you can't be naive and then think that mm -hmm. they wasn't because mm -hmm. uh, because of the practice of other gods, mm -hmm. and, they, and they had a god for everything. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know they have had a god for that. Mm -hmm. uh, they, you can't tell them they had a god for mm -hmm. everything. They had a god mm -hmm. for water, moon, blood, mm -hmm. man, woman, fertility. You can't tell them they had a god for that. Mm -hmm. I'm right. telling you, you know, we'll make one. You know. Yeah, that's all it is. You know, the yeah. Satan was really heavily influencing uh, Egypt. Yes. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, continue. Rest of nine, and they press sore upon the man. Even Lot, mm. and came near to break the door, but the man put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door, and they smote the man that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And you know, it's another key thing right here: both small and great. I Man, you got people in the NFL, six eight. 350 pounds, benching 500 pounds, complete homosexuals, both small and great. You know what I'm saying? Just like I keep saying about a small, great, great, but people in the high classes. Yeah, well, that too, you know, but, you know, it could be, you know, uh, uh, big guys too. Just like in um, in uh, Atlanta, I mean, you know, I keep saying, man, they got, they got big guy NFL looking players walking around in tutus. You know, like, man, it, it ain't. My point, like, you go down there on the wrong night, man, you can get raped, yo. <laughs> no. I ain't playing, yo. I ain't playing. That's, going on. That, I keep telling you, brother, I ain't going to Atlanta. That's one place I will not go. <laughs> I will not go there. New York, Las Vegas, and Atlanta. That's what I was saying. You told me, hey, you got to drop me to Atlanta. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you just drop me off and keep on moving. Go stop. Yeah, you better do a tough yeah, roll. Be, hey, be like I told you, Hazar, man. When he has a ticket, don't salute nobody, let nobody salute yeah. you. Just go on and oh, go home back, you know? <laughs> Only by the order of yeah, would I go down to Atlanta? I ain't going down to Atlanta. I'm telling you, man, they got they got some homosexual. Put my armor on and just. Only by the order of yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. <laughs> Only by that. But... I gotta drop the bishop off. <laughs> Greyhound, man. Greyhound. Hey, don't be scared to go to Greyhound. They went out the Greyhound. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, on the bus on there, probably be on there. Yeah. Never around. Okay. Uh, <laughs> verse ten, verse eleven, uh, and the man in no, verse twelve, and the man said unto Lot. Hast thou here any besides, uh, just the angels, son-in-law and thy sons? Yeah, it would get the point of that. He's talking about just the homosexual matter of that, you know. Right. But he's, this homosexual spirit ain't no joke, man. He's talking about, this is before Moses, you know what I'm saying? Before, yeah. This is before the, no, nah, this is after the flood. After the flood. But, um, so you know them spirits. They were doing that before the flood, too. Yeah, when them, uh, the, the Nephilim children, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they was doing they that. They just didn't say that. They were doing all that stuff. But yeah, that's what I mean. So this, this is prior to uh, the law of quote unquote Moses. So you already know. That's why y'all already uh, had these laws back in the day. Um, and chapter 26. <laughs> chapter 26. Uh, one to five. And there was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went in unto Am uh, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And Yah appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So join in this land, and I will be with thee. And will bless thee for thou for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father and I will make thy seed to multiply so the stars of the heaven as the stars of the heaven 
and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because, again, this is prior to Exodus, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, i.e., laws and all that, and kept my charge and my commandments, my statutes and my laws. Anybody who say you ain't got to keep no laws, again, some of the laws are not active right now. Um, and some sacrificial laws we don't have to do because of Yahusha. And and the laws like sacrificial laws, that's just, you just putting that on Yahusha. That's, you know, instead of putting a, a burnt offering, you, hey, put the blood, that's why I say put the blood of Jesus on this. You sacrifice it still, but it's a different type of sacrifice. Um, but, you know, again, you know, Abraham was, was, was being... Um, um, uh, reverence for his um, for his keeping of the laws and statutes and commandments, which he taught taught all his children, um, and then probably end on um, Matthew twenty five Matthew five. You know, that's Sabbath day too. You know, the law that was part of it in Genesis too. That wasn't in Exodus. You know, it was in Genesis too. Yeah. Shabbat. Mm hmm. Because people going to say you ain't got to keep the Shabbat. Well, they was keeping the Shabbat back in the day. Prior to Exodus, the book of Exodus, they was keeping the laws. You can't have sex with your mama. You <laughs> can't be killing people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They had I laws. Call, I did study called, I called it the Ten Commandments uh, <laughs> in the Genesis. I was doing that one time, the mm -hmm. Ten Commandments. Mm hmm. Because uh, what's his name? Killed Cain. Shall I die 77 yeah. times 7 for mm -hmm. killing Cain? Something mm -hmm. like that. Killing somebody. Mm hmm. That's murder. Off top. Yeah, murder. Okay, um, uh, chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5, 17 on down. <clears throat> Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Heaven and earth has never passed at this very moment. It's still here. Right. You can still go outside and see it and whatnot. <laughs> and everybody say, God, Jesus and gave me another day. You know, to breathe his air to see the <laughs> That's because heaven and earth ain't passed. Okay. Pass. <laughs> All right. Not. And that goes, I think not that I come to destroy the law. Glory. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jolt or one tittle in, um, in Hebrew, that's just like a period or a comma, meaning this is the smallest of the law. Yeah. I ain't come to destroy that little small thing. Uh, shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of the least of the commandments, the jolt or the tittle, and shall teach man so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, I see that a lot of a lot of people in the church world and, and whatnot, uh, you know, we are in the atheists and all that, they, they don't really talk about the Bible like that. So I'm focused on the people who talk about the Bible, church people who are worldly, they teach people, you ain't got to keep no laws, you can do whatever you want to do, we cover by grace, you know, you misusing grace. You know, it's like Paul said, should we continue to sin that grace may abound? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. If, and everybody love Paul. Paul said, don't keep the law. Paul right there just cut you. He just cut you. I love, I love Paul too because if Paul was a Jew. <coughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. He kept all the laws. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He kept them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though, like this too, if he didn't, why he was rushing to get to a feast day, man? Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. kept all the feast day. He was rushing one time mm -hmm. to get back to Jerusalem for a feast day. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, but whosoever shall do and teach them. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed. I guess people don't understand reading comprehension here. Yeah, I'm saying except your, you got to exceed somebody here. Except right. your righteousness exceed the scribes and Pharisees. And what would the scribes and Pharisees? Quote, unquote, holy man, studiers of the word. Right. You know, they, they, you know, they did it wrong, but, you know, if they did it in righteousness, it would be good. They use it as an example. Mm -hmm. They stayed. They kept the Shabbat. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They made sure they did the sacrifice mm -hmm. and stuff and everything. And if, and if they wasn't keeping the laws, they knew about the laws. That's right. You, they might be committing adultery, but they know adultery's <laughs> wrong. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know. I, and they don't want to get caught. 
You know, as long as they don't get caught, like who see? Y'all don't see us. Come on, girl. Who see us? That's what he said. Yeah. Uh, they did have time because they tell us what they told. You know, Jesus. Mm-hmm. For sure, they always looking and see what he did and say, how come you did this? Mm-hmm. How come you did that? Mm-hmm. How come your disciples are doing this? Mm-hmm. So they were very well versed. They knew. Exactly. So they knew. I love it when they said like this, when they went to Caliphus, they went to, uh, the, uh, what's his name? Titus. The king? One of the king? No, no, uh, Pilate. Oh, yeah. He says, this man says he'd come back to the Lord's temple and come back. They understood the resurrection. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody else is scattered. Mm. But why did the, the uh, fairy sergeant come back to Pilate talking about we need to put a guard right there? Mm. At least there'd be some more wickedness right there. They were studying. They knew. Mm. They knew. And Herod knew, they knew too. King Herod knew where the mm. child would be born at. Mm. The prophet told him. He asked the prophet, mm. the, uh, the priest. Mm. Where was oh, in Bethlehem, mm-hmm. oh king. Mm-hmm. That's why he had uh, all the kids killed, man. Mm-hmm. Babies killed. That's right. Murder. That's right. Because they knew the prophecies, they knew the word, mm-hmm. the darberine. Mm-hmm. That's why, I like what Shoe said, except you will see more now. You should not enter. I mean, you got to be in you this book be, and laboring. You got to know more than what mm-hmm. they know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to study it mm-hmm. and let your and let your light shine. Yeah. You know? And the only way you're gonna let your light shine is doing the will of Yah. There you go. Ye shall in no case. Ye shall in no. Man, I'm gonna read that again. For I say unto you that except your righteousness, because a lot of people say, you know. Uh, well, my God, He loves me unconditional. That's not scriptural. He loves you and He's patient with you. That's right. But y'all got conditions. That's right. You know, just like you ain't gonna know. None of us gonna hug some dirty person. <laughs> you know, somebody rolling around some pig fat and and some no, and some feces. Yeah, and and all like that. come here. No. Close hey. the door. Close the door. Close. Hey. No, nobody you know. But not if, offhand, but hey. you know, if you but if you kept the laws, but hey man, I need to get cleaned up, I need to make sure, you know, I'm clean, presentable, you know, I can't be walking around this environment dirty, then you be they gonna accept you. You know, nobody gonna be distant dissing you or anything like that. For I say unto you wow. that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the fa- of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case I mean there's not no option for you. There's nothing you there's no no back door that you getting in or nothing. Enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's talking about the law, statutes, and commandments. It's like he said in seventeen, think not that I come to the, destroy the law, nor the prophets, or anything of that nature. So that was a little something, you know. I, I thank y'all had offhand today I was studying. Uh, you know, just just some you know to talk tired. about the law, talk about the law, and uh, oh, yeah. and, and how it is it, it's prior to, to to Moses' law, because a lot of you know again, a lot of people in the churches when they say the law is done away with, they go to the book of Moses. You you, you teaching the law of Moses? Well, te- and technically the law of Moses is the law of Yah. Yah gave it to Moses to uh, to give to the people. It wasn't Moses came up with the laws, uh, but you know, you know, get a little information, you know, to to to. Put, help people uh, break the cycle of programming. You know they're gonna bring that to their pastor because their pastor say they gotta keep the laws, and the pastor gonna say yeah we ain't gotta keep them laws of Moses. But pastor in Genesis, where are these laws? Get out of my church, you heretic! 